Hey guys, welcome to DreamCoin. It's Tyler again, and I just wanted to bring you an update on where I think Fisker is going, especially since it seems to be at a price point bottom for the last few months right now. It's about almost 50% down from where it's been trending over the last couple of months, especially in March. And I think they have a ton of upside, both shorter term and long term as a company, especially with the huge EV stuff coming out and Biden's infrastructure bill and all that going forward. So the first thing I want to talk about is that the 6th of April, which was yesterday, since today is April. April 7th, Henrik Fisker, the CEO of Fisker, came out and gave the targeted price for the Fisker Ocean that they are expected to release and start producing at the end of 2022 and early 2023. And they're looking at an under $40,000 price tag, specifically $37,499. If this comes out and they can actually make this sustainable where they're still profitable as a company and they can still get even in this range, even if they have to bump it up a couple thousand dollars and stay just under 40,000, this is going to look very good for them going into the next few years as a competitor in the EV market because there's not really a very good quality vehicle on the electric market yet that's in this price point that looks viable enough to buy and their maximum range for their battery is about 250 to 300 miles as of right now and if they can pull this off this is going to be a very good competitor for Tesla even because Tesla's Model 3 their standard range plus it has about 240 miles maximum range and that's about 30 seven thousand dollars in general so even if this is just slightly above that this is already going to be a competitor with one of the top companies that's going to be in their industry right now this is just going to set them up to be primed as a complete niche in the ev market on their own also alongside this uh, morgan stanley did recently in the past couple of weeks give a 90 dollar bull case for a price target on fisker and this is more uh shorter term i believe and it's like uh based on like a 12 month segment for it there is a couple analysts that are thinking that a $400 price target over the next few years would be possible. And I completely agree, especially if they can get their niche carved out in the electric vehicle market, get the production started on the Fisker Ocean and their pair concept that they're coming out with that they were aiming to start producing possibly in 2023. And especially as they get like images of that out and everything and just get models of that, that's going to be a very nice catalyst in general. This is going to provide for a lot more interest in the company. We've already seen about 14,000 potential pre-orders for Fisker right now with their Fisker Ocean and this all this kind of sets up them as a prime mover in the electric vehicle market going through 2025 as a whole right now they are already targeting the market for a pickup truck that would be able to rival the cyber truck and look less futuristic for a lot of those people that aren't to that style and this could set them up especially with the Fisker Ocean already being a luxury SUV essentially that's pretty fairly priced the pickup truck could be very nice in general as well as an electric vehicle and can allow them to have a direct competitor to Tesla on another front with their cyber truck. Now, if we look on the three month chart for FSR, which is Fisker's ticker, we do see that they are trending back towards where they were trading back in January and early February around that 14 to $16 range. And this is basically setting up for a possible basic bottom for where Fisker will be trading for the long term. I don't see them going too much more down from where they are. They are set up to run quite a bit on the EV infrastructure news that Biden's putting out and how they want to incentivize people with different kinds of rebates for buying electric vehicles and things like that. And I do see this as a very viable option long term for Fisker, especially because I see them as a long investment and going into 2020 as stuff ramps up more pre-orders come out for the Fisker Ocean and production actually starts and the first models come out there's going to be a lot more hype around the company in general as well as they're going to be able to actually start gaining revenue and seeing how they can use that new revenue to go forward with new production stuff and then what I think is very underrated that people don't possibly connect right now is the fact that Fisker right now seems to have more potential upside than NEO and even CCIV you saw CCIV CIV has already ran up way past its peak around that $60 range and they've just plummeted back and they haven't been able to return yet. And Lucid Motors is a very high end uh, car company right now. They don't have anything that's affordable for the general population. So I think that puts it out of the reach of the common consumer. And the other thing going for Neo right now is there's been a lot of issues with complaints about smart technology coming from China. And there could be possible legislation that would prohibit Neo from being able to come into the US in general to be able to sell their cars. And what sets Fisker up to compete with 
with these directly is that they've already started a timeline for production for their stuff they are in an affordable price uh timeline for where they're at they've already set up partnerships to also put out their vehicles in europe and they are already based in the us as compared to neo so this is going to set them up to essentially be a possible front runner competitor for all of the electric vehicle industry in general just because of those main assets that they have under them with their ability to take advantage of what the market is lacking right now and what they're trying to give the market as of right now i do give fisker a strong buy at this price range at 16. i did say i like them at 19 and 20 even so 16 is even more of a discount. I do think they're severely undervalued. I think they should be trending that $30, $40 range minimum until they start their production and everything. And then over the next four or five years, I could see them over that four or $500 range. And that is just based on common sense of where the entire world is trending with electric vehicles and the fact that they could possibly be setting up for both the United States and Europe. And especially with stuff going like that, this could be moving into countries like Canada, different countries that are looking to be more eco-friendly as a whole which i do see a lot of the world trending towards in general as this stuff gets pushed out more this is only going to be even better for fisker as a company and i think with the concerns for henrik fisker as a ceo and his past stuff where he tried different approaches in the past with fisker with the initial launch i think that set him up to learn kind of some lessons of how he wanted to run some of the automotive industry and not only that he would be looking for more quality partners since their last battery company in the prior setup would basically be the downfall of them and their profits going forward with the batteries and stuff failing out so i think they've done more of their due diligence this time they seem to be having a very good grasp on themselves as a company and i don't see too much of a downside for them right now so this is a very good buy discount right now for long term and as for me personally when i get my portfolio set up on fidelity fully i will be putting them in a roth ira because this is something i want to load up on for the next couple of years and see where they're at and just have them for that long-term option i've been tweeting and posting on instagram a lot more for any of you interested and seeing my content off of YouTube, especially if I don't get a video out every single day. I did call Seal back on March 31st as $6 for my price target minimum for April. They did just hit that today, uh, briefly towards the end of market. So that was very fun to see. And we are seeing Freak run towards that 17 pretty fast. They were up above like almost 1350 today. We have a lot of stuff that's been going out on the other platforms as well. And it would be great to interact with you guys on those more because this is more freeform content that I could basically interact with your comments and see what you guys think about potential ideas as I go out and I'll be live tweeting more when I pick up certain positions in a stock and or selling for certain parts of my stock for profit so you guys can see more transparency on my side as we go forward over the next week or two I'll be looking to get out some more videos potentially on different stocks I'm looking to buy but for now I'm going to be possibly just updating you on what we've been looking at because we put out a lot of content on different stocks that have been running pretty well lately and I just wanted to give you some thoughts on like how they're trending as we go forward I'll catch you guys in the next one peace